Hello! Hey, Holmes, what are you doing at school? And with your little packet here. Okay, now I have to remember what we're doing. What items do we have? No. We do have a key. We have the office key. Which is a good thing. We'll go to the office. Oh yeah, the camera thingy. Ah, I'll survive. We've been through most of the game with it like that now, so... <gasps> We are in the judge's private office, Holmes. What are you going to do? Turn everything upside down? That is a distinct possibility. I will not leave until I have found what I am looking for. Okay. Don't forget your cakes when we leave, Holmes. Of course, Watson. Right. A Habano Clarissimo cigar. <gasps> dun, 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 dun. Clearly the only person in London. Nothing of interest here. Okay. Hey, he's got a plant. Plants are always lovely. Lots of plants. Hello. Nothing but trophies. The judge must be very proud of them. We need another one. I can make out a mechanism at the bottom of each of these holes. These oars can turn. I am missing some information. Oh, yeah. I am missing. Okay. We need to find stuff. Whoopsie daisy. This door is very. The best thing to do is to carry on exploring this place, Holmes. Watson, okay. this really is the most ingenious system. It controls the opening mechanism. Very ingenious. But do we need to enter? Judge Beckett is very rich, and the room perhaps only holds valuable objects which he wishes to protect from thieves. Doors are made to be opened, my dear fellow. <laughs> well, I guess that's true, actually. That's their purpose, right? Well, to close them to Blind maybe. justice. From whence his ignorance. Amusing. <laughs> yeah, I guess Holmes is technically doing non-blind justice. Sort An of. ore lock. It must be a souvenir. Beckett, honorary member. This must be the symbol of an organization to which the judge belongs. Look at this symbol. It must surely be very important to Judge Beckett. A souvenir from the University of New York. That's the university where Judge Beckett studied. The judge used to row. The young Beckett and his friends rowing. Cool. Okay, so we should look at the picture. Apparently not right now. Uh, maybe we can look at it when we get here. I am missing some info. This gentleman certainly ah. likes oars, to the point of exhibiting them in his office. Deduce which fraternity Judge Beckett was a member of. This note must surely be very important to Judge Beckett. Join the best fraternity, our success is constant, 3.14. The list of symbols of the American universities. Well, he did go to University of New York. The list of sim Yes, yes. New York had four different ones. University of New York, here we go. A Greek letter. Well, they look very happy, all of them. Oh, it looks like a hand in the grass. I was like, who? Dead people? Okay, what am I looking for? I don't know. I am missing some. This note must. Okay. The list of symbol. Uh. Okay. I guess I'm still missing some information. Nothing but trap.
Stop it, Watson. Okay, what say you, Watson? What do you think? Okay. Um, that means that I am missing something about how you do this. I'm guessing. Pi, and I have that Greek letter. The list of symbol. Yes, but what? Why can't I do anything here? Like I, nothing, nothing here. Like I see University of New York there. It has four different ones. So like I am missing some information. No, no, he's he's definitely missing something. All right. Okay. Uh, okay, so what am I missing? What? Holmes. Holmes, what am I missing? I don't understand. What do I have the school book? What am I doing? <laughs> Holmes, what are you doing? Oh yeah, okay, we can go out, but like this plan is useless. Okay. This plan is useless. Well, we have to do something with that. Um Okay, Holmes, come on. Oh yeah, we still have to do this. This screw is Okie dokie. And you're seriously telling me that your knife will not cut it. This screw is Yes, you are ooh, there's Europe. Okay. Yes, you're showing me that, but I don't really The door handle. Oh yeah. The door handle has been removed. Find that we have to know who did it and then where that person sits. There's definitely something somewhere which I have failed to do or collect or something. Okay, okay, Holmes, what are we doing? Come on, dude. Oh, yeah. A desire to cook. I forgot that we had oil in here, which we looked at but didn't pick up. Ah, come on, please, please be the answer. Yes, the answer. Here we go. Greek ah. letters. Copy them down, dear fellow. Very well, Holmes. This is what we needed. Okay, alpha, alpha, beta, gamma, delta, epsilon, zeta, eta, mu, nu, xi, omicron, phi, pi, rho, sigma. All of them used in maths and physics and stuffs, science. What did Sir William Herschel do? I still have no idea. Okay, this is what we need for the office. Run. Run. I hope this is what we need. The Greek letter. Come on. No, stop. A Greek letter. A Greek... Yes. Okay. No. I am missing some information. This note must surely be very important. Oh yeah, we okay, okay. So we have pi, and we have nu, because of here. This is nu, and we have pi down there. But we need one more. The list of symbols. And that's what we're looking for. Okay. 
Oh, I get it. So there's definitely something more. We need to find another Greek letter. Or... Or a, um, a hint for another Greek letter, I should say. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, that was that. Right. A souvenir. Okay. Um. Oh yeah. <laughs> I thought I'd been everywhere, but I'm still missing something. Okay, back to the classroom. Okay, we didn't need to go upstairs. There's nothing here. There was something there, but not right now. So this plan is useless. We've been everywhere once. Ah, <laughs> oh, me and adventure games. Yeah, this is why I don't play adventure games so much. Except for Papa games, because there you can get hints. It's very limited. Here it's like also limited, but at the same time, I'm missing something. With like leaps or something, I don't know, but... Oh, actually, this is John Watson's case, I just realized. Of course, Watson is carrying everything. <sighs> Man. This overall belongs to the young James. Sweet papers. Out of the pupil's overcoat. Nope. And I know th there is a hint thing. Problem is, not always very helpful. I w will be back. Okay, so I am supposed to- we are supposed to be able to do the seating arrangement. So supposed to be- did we pick up pictures? Oh yeah, we probably did. No, actually, it... Because the walkthrough is like... Turn the blackboard, do this puzzle here, and then it's like... Do the seating arrangement puzzle. This plan is useless. And I'm like, I'm missing something, I can't do that! Ah, oh, man. We okay, explore some bookcase. I'm presuming that's the one with the missing handle. I guess I'm missing something there that I could do? It's a sweet box. Ah. Probably for rewarding good pupils. Okay. Well... I guess that's cool. Sweet paper. Can I do it now? This ah, okay. Seriously? What do I need to do that? <sighs> okay, I'm still missing things over here. One of the Greek books is open. Perhaps the subject of the last lesson. Everything points to someone who does not wish us to open this cabinet, which is a good enough reason for opening it. Well, the young James has stolen the handle to the sweet cupboard so that he can pilfer it whenever he likes. If we find his desk, we will find the handle. And we know that because we have already looked at James James's coat. Now we can do the seating arrangement thing. It's a plan of the classroom. Thanks to this plan, we will know which desk belongs to James. Okay. Alyssa and Talia are adorable sisters. I can't bring myself to separate them. Okay. Anastasia, very pretty and doll-like, very well educated. She should have a very happy life. To help her to integrate, she sits on the left of Ophelia, who's gentle and patient. 
Lewis has good eyesight. He surprised me when I saw an airship in the sky. This gave us the opportunity for a lesson about the conquest of the skies. Caring for plants, Talia. Listen, Talia, our adorable sisters. I can't bring myself to separate them. There we go. Aaron has suddenly grown, so I put them at the back behind Fergus, who's as tall as him. Row, row leader, window row, Lloyd. I don't know what that means. I put Ophelia in the first row behind, between my desk and the board. She has a very quiet voice, and she would blush every time I asked her to repeat herself. Since the, since the arrival of Anastasia, Orson seems captivated by her. I ought to make him change places because he looks, when he looks at the board, she's in his field of vision and it disturbs him. But I can't make up my mind. Puppy love is such a beautiful thing. Moreover, he has stopped chatting with his neighbor, Bart. Pierce is one of those children who takes a little time to accept the rules, but he is a nice boy and I li like him very much. Put a stop to any problems by putting him near my desk between, behind Anastasia. Nixel Elmer, who is very mature for his age. Near my desk. Simon and James can't come from the same village. I put them together. Simon and James is left. Row leader, kitchen line, tailor. An empty place on his right. Charles is still waiting for the glass I ordered for him. Because of that, he needs to sit in the light and close to the board. I changed him and his neighbor's neighbor Eddie's places. I'm gonna presume he's over here then. Lots of light. Although Jasper's often sick to avoid disturbing the class, seat him close to the kitchen. Uh, okay. Mark is such a good boy, he can sit with anyone. Whoops, Fergus. Blackboard cleaning, Fergus. Maybe it's him there then. Rose and Louisa adore books and are writing a novel together in secret. I let them sit together to encourage this beautiful little secret. Louisa will be in charge of the other children's, all the children's books. That way she will have access to all the books. Rose and Louisa adore books and are writing a novel together in secret. Bart is very studious. I appointed him to take to care for storage of the youngest group's books. Eddie likes to sit by the window, but he is a daydreamer. I intend for him and his neighbor to exchange places. Ooh, yeah, I was right. Elmer is very calm and reasonable. He should sit with Pierce because he's a, he has a good influence on him. Young Damien is very smart. Saved from his wretched life, he was working in a textile factory and had lots lost the use of his right hand. He is now one of the brightest in the class. Always put him on the left side of a table to allow him to write comfortably with his left hand. Simon and James come from the same village. I put them together. Simon and James is left. Row leader, middle row, Justin. Oh, maybe the flags are row leaders. Okay. Anastasia. Left of Ophelia. Lewis has good eyesight. He surprised me when he saw an airship in the sky. Maybe he sits at a window? Okay. Aaron has suddenly grown, so I put him at the back behind Fergus. Row leader, window row. I put a feeling in the first row between my desk and the board. She has a very quiet voice and she would blush, blush every time I asked her to repeat herself. Uh, Orson seems captivated by her. I ought to make him change places, but... Because when he looks at the board, she's in his field of vision and it disturbs him. Sits with Bart. Um, mm -hmm. Near my desk behind Anastasia and next little Elmer. He's very mature for his age. Orson. Okay. Kitchen line, Taylor. Close to the kitchen, I guess maybe there. Or there. Mark. Bart. P. 
appears. Uh, always put them on the left of a table. Yes, okay. Mm, Simon and James, but they can't sit with each other right now, so someone is wrong. Lewis could sit there, actually. James could be whoopsie daisy there. Simon is, in that case, here. The last red one is that one, then. Now it's just all the blue ones. <laughs> uh, um, maybe Pierce sits like here. Mark is with anyone. Orson sits with Bart. Anastasia, she sits next to Ophelia, exactly. Someone else sits behind Anastasia, though. Sits with P Oh, wait, maybe like this. Okay, those are correct. Those are correct, okay. Um, Mark. Bart. Yeah! Okay, we right. found James. Let's open James's desk. We found James. Perfect. That's the handle. The door hand. Not anymore, it hasn't. It's a sweet. So we took the book. Okay. Okay, now. Now we're done. <laughs> I'm hoping. Here we go. Here we go. Pie at some point. No! Ho. You know how we have moo and pie, so whichever ones have that, there's only one. The second at the top, so it's the uh, Zeta. It's Zeta. Okay. So what does this mean? Oh! Oh my gosh, I get it. Ha! Huh. I get it! Uh... Um... No, stop it. Be in the middle. <sighs> what is happening? Please, would you just seriously stay in the middle? How do I do this? Oh, uh, controls! No oh, controls! Okay, here we go. Finally. Okay. Okay, so not that. Um, hello, <laughs> controls. <sighs> Good 
Controls? Controls, please! Well done, Holmes. There we go. Okay, that was creepy. Incredible. Masses and masses of files. Holmes, these files, these cards, these reports, they're all about you. So it would seem. Your whole career is mapped out here, investigation by investigation. Look, a detailed report about your work in Whitechapel during the Ripper affair. And there, your relationship with a certain A. Lupin. And here, the details of your methods and transcriptions of your conversations with the greatest violent criminals. My God, look at the titles of the files. Fraud, deception, corruption, forgery, murder. What does it all mean? Quiet, let me concentrate. Concentrate? This judge has the reputation of being the most honest in the kingdom, and he has built an overwhelming pile of documents as high as Big Ben about you, and you talk of concentration? To open his chest, to what end? Quiet. Holmes, answer me. What is the real reason for our being here? Did you know what we were going to find before we came here? Evidently. So that is the real reason behind this break-in. You're only interested in the contents of the chest. All the rest of it was nothing more than lies and manipulation. The most important is the one in the chest, Watson. Okay, so this whole room is just dedicated dedication to an obsession with Sherlock Holmes. Okay. <gasps> Group the balls by color. One color per square. Whoopsie daisy. What do you mean one color per square? Oh, blue's in the middle. Oh my gosh, I can't move anything if I don't. Why can I not move these without... Oh my god, okay. Um... It doesn't matter which side I put greens and reds, right? This does look like it could be tricky, I'm just saying. Sure what I'm doing, but okay. <sighs> no. Oh, game. What am I doing? Brain. What am I doing? I should maybe say. Rather. Brain, what am I doing?
that probably wasn't very clever. Am I doing anything clever really though? I don't know. No, I don't want to do that. I have all the blues there. Very good and all. Oh, no, wait a minute. Ooh, 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 ooh. Here we go. <gasps> oh, I can't believe I actually did it. There, I have what I came for. Show me the file, Holmes. It is unnecessary, Watson. It's a file about you, isn't it? Is it so compromising that you don't dare show it to me? You came here to steal the research about you carried out by Judge Beckett Holmes. It was the only thing that interested you. We'll see about that later. We must put everything back in its place. No one must know that we've been here. Help me. Go and put the paddles back into their original position and I'll deal with the rest. All right, Watson, come on. Let's go. Quick, Watson, we must get out of this house immediately. What? But- Be quick, man, it's urgent. Because of you, we have to flee like common criminals, which it seems we have now become. I only hope that the game is worth the risk. Show me the file right now. Let's find a cab as quickly as possible. We can't stay here. Why are you in such a hurry? You- Wait! Look over there! Judge Beckett! Yes, it's him! Let's go and talk to him! Uh, really? It's go too talk late. To him? Do as you wish, Holmes, but I need to hear an explanation about what was in that armored room. I'm going. Really? You're going to ask him that? No. Stay here. That's an order. Your giving orders changes nothing. I'm going to talk to Judge Beckett, and you will not stop me. Um... Watson. Watson! Are you all right? My god, what happened? Lucy, oh Lucy, poor girl, I must do something. Holmes, I need your help here. Forgive me, Watson, but I'm afraid that I must leave now. Leave? What the devil do you mean? Holmes, come back here! Holmes! Well, this is weird and kind of compromising. Holmes, are you here? Show yourself. No one. Perhaps it is just as well. I don't know what my reaction to him would have been. How dreadful. The poor Miss Lucy hanging between life and death. Luckily, I was able to place her in good hands. But how the devil did Holmes know that a bomb was about to go off? And what's more, he seems to have taken advantage of the tragedy. No more Judge Beckett. No more compromising documents. No more proof. There is nothing at all. Could it have been Holmes? I don't. I, I don't remember actually, and I don't. I don't think. I. I don't think Holmes would ever kill a person. No, I do not think so. So we'll just have to see what happens. Ooh, I want to see what Watson says to Toby. Loyal Toby. Holmes would have shown us, wouldn't he? He probably would. All right. And that's going to be all for today. So, you know, what? We'll see what happens in the next episode. Thank you all very much for watching and stay tuned.